Hello everybody, my name is Ian Lamont. Today I'll be talking about customizing your Shopify website to have a little message running across the top which explains something that people can take advantage of. And I'll show you what I mean. I have my Shopify website. I sell stuff related to genealogy and dogs. And at the top of the page, you'll see this little banner. Free ground shipping for US orders over $10. And uh, this is a message that I put up there. And actually, I could put any message up there if I wanted to. And sometimes I do that. Like, I'll, I'll say something like, oh, I'm going to a genealogy conference in March. And I'll put in, uh, meet, Genie meet Easy Genie at the Roots Tech Genealogy Conference in Salt Lake City on February uh, 29th through March the 2nd. Okay? I can put that text up there. And you may be wondering, well, how can I customize that? And I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay. By the way, this may only work for certain types of Shopify themes. I'm using one of the free themes, and it's um, once you know where to find it, it's easy to set up. And let's do it right now. So here's my here's my Shopify interface, and what you want to do is you want to click on Online Store, and uh, you have a bunch of different options here. And it used to drive me crazy. I was clicking around navigation to try to figure out where it was or preferences where I could put in that little message. I finally found it. It's actually buried in the live theme, customize. Click on that, and then you'll come to this page here, and it kind of shows you the, the, the way your, your uh, Shopify site is set up. You want header. Header is the stuff at the very top of the page, including the search bar, so I'm showing the search bar, your logo, uh, the logo width, maybe some menu options and whatnot. Scroll down until you come to announcement bar. If this is not checked up, if, if this is not checked checked off, you won't see anything. In fact, let's take a look at that. So I'm going to reload this page. And look, that announcement is gone. Okay, but I do want to add something. So right now it says free ground shipping for US orders over $10. By the way, you have to set up the free shipping in another part of Shopify. I'm not doing that right now. I'm just letting people know that it exists. Here's another example. I'll do this right now. I just created a promotion, okay? And it's called the, um, it's called FEB20. It's a discount code. So I can say something like, use discount code FEB20 to get 20% off your next order, okay? So I just added that there. I click Save. All right, let's take a look at the website, the live website. That's one of the great things about Shopify. You can make a change and it goes through right away. So here's that discount code, okay? It looks a little bit weird because it's breaking to two lines. So maybe what I might want to do is make that a little bit shorter somehow. But you get the idea. You can use the announcement bar to add text or add news about where you're, you know, where 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 you're going to be, uh, maybe participating in some live event or uh, free shipping above a certain level. But remember, just saying use discount code FEB20 to get 20% off. I have to actually create the discount code in another part of Shopify. And in fact, I'll show you where it is. It's in the discounts area. So before you create your announcement, make sure that you create the discount code, which I already did, and then test it to make sure that it works on your website. For more information on how to get the most out of Shopify um, or other types of online uh, selling services that you may operate, including Amazon Seller Central, Amazon KDP, even uh, WordPress, WooCommerce, Go to my website, leanmedia.org. I have a blog, which has lots of tips right there. Also, if you click on video, I have my, uh, it goes to my YouTube video channel and some other videos that I've provided on my website. My name is Ian Lamont. Thank you so much for watching.